Based on a survey released by the Angus Reid Institute, it is said that the anti-discrimination prompted by the pandemic will take another generation to subside. Eagle News correspondent Stacy De Ocampo tells us why. Asians and non-Asian Canadians believe that it will take another generation to solve the anti-Asian prejudice, according to Angus Reid Institute. Three in five among each group say this is the case, while one in four Asian Canadians do not think Canada will ever overcome some of its discriminatory practices and prejudice. Only 16% of non-Asians have that pessimistic view. The study found Canadians of Asian descent in the 18 to 34 age group were the ones most likely to have experienced and been affected by anti-Asian racism and bigotry over the last year. Least likely to be affected were Asian Canadians over the age of 55 who had higher incomes. Nearly half of all Asian Canadians say discrimination targeting them was a problem in their communities. But few Asian Canadians say the discrimination is institutional, adding they say they have been treated fairly by police, the healthcare system, and businesses. Nearly the identical number of Asian and non-Asian Canadians, one out of five, say that they would prefer if the community they live in was people from their own race or ethnicity. The Angus Reid Institute surveyed 1,984 Canadian adults in an online survey. From this sample, the Institute derived a subsample of 107 respondents that self-identify as ethnically Chinese, East Asian, and Southeast Asian, which for the purposes of analysis was then boosted by an additional 524 cases to bring that group to a total of 631. The survey is a margin of error of 2.2 percentage points, 19 times out of 20. In Montreal, Stacey Del Campo will live in interesting times.